doesn't the innovator's dilemma come into play? When you start shipping and you start building a following, you start building, you know, uh, fans, now there is more pressure to succeed or come up with even more creative work. Um, how do you continuously disrupt yourself in order to keep on putting out even better work? T talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, you know, you started the conversation by talking about monetization. And it's entirely possible that the right thing to do is not to be an artist anymore and to be a productive hack who serves the audience and gives them what they want over and over again. Hmm. So if you're Heinz and ketchup catches on, you should keep making ketchup because people want ketchup. And that rant, rant, rant run lasted 80, 90 years. And it wasn't until salsa came along that their lack of innovation caught up with them. So. I don't think monetization is the point, particularly for the individual creator. I think you have to make a promise to your audience. Mm. So in Bob Dylan's autobiography, which is largely made up, he tells the story of what happened after he went electric. So he was a folk musician and he was famously booed at the Newport Folk Festival for bringing an electric guitar. But it's just sick listening to this rubbish now. Bob Dylan was a bastard in the second half. And he said to his promoter, I want you to book a world tour where I go to the same city every year, three years in a row, over and over again to the same cities. And the promoter said, that's absurd. You got to spread it around. And Bob said, no, I don't want to do that because the first year I show up, people will come in expecting the old Bob Dylan and they'll be disappointed and they won't like the show. And the second year, only the true believers will come. And then the third year, they'll bring the new fans. And those are the people I want to make my music for. So Bob walked away from monetization and he walked away from pleasing the existing group so he could make the art he wanted to make for the long haul. And that's an intentional act, right? That after I wrote Permission Marketing. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I bet the next video is gonna be even better. So hit subscribe and we'll chat in the comments.